All right, now I'm going to talk about something else that's been breaking on the news, and it's pretty important, especially if you do live south or southwest of Calgary, as I do. And I want to explain a few things. So it's been hitting the news. The, the Western Standard broke that last night. Uh, a woman had a cougar in, on an acreage southwest of the city of Calgary. It came into her yard. She, she was, uh, her daughter was eating lunch, a five-year-old girl, and looking out the window, she started screaming that, that something has got their cat, Oreo, as you can see in this video, the cougar was right outside their door. It was pawing at the door at some points. It was snarling. The dead cat, unfortunately, is, is behind the, the cougar there. It had killed it. And uh, it, it would not be scared away. It was there for over five minutes. Uh, this is behind my place now. You see some video. I'm, I'm only a few miles from there. This is three young cougars walking a trail behind my house. I have a game camera back there. This wasn't me filming it, of course. And it was in the night. What I want to establish is... I understand how to live with and around wildlife that can be potentially dangerous. I, I live among them now. I have no interest in harming animals, never want to. Uh, but I also understand when the line has been crossed and an animal has become too dangerous to tolerate. So th this cougar that, that came to that woman's house, she called Fish and Wildlife once it ran away, and a lot of bizarre behavior. The cougar left the dead cat in the garden. It didn't take it with it, so it wasn't quite, or maybe it is starving. It was skinny looking in the video, but food might not have been the motivation. Then the cougar came back, as you can see in this picture, in the night. It came back and was behind the door. It looks like a young cougar, a smaller cougar, but still, when you think of the power of a five-pound house cat, Think about the kind of power in even an 80 or 100 pound cougar, a very, very, very dangerous animal. It's extremely rare for a cougar to attack a person. Very, very rare. It's something a lot of people don't even realize. Like as I showed with my game camera, cougars are actually quite common. You just don't see them. They're very shy. They stay in the woods. They have no interest in interaction with people. And it's, as I said, the amount of people around... If cougars were that dangerous, we'd see a heck of a lot more adverse outcomes. We'd see a heck of a lot more attacks. Thankfully, we don't. But when it happens like this, when that line has been crossed, when a cougar is behaving so unusually as this one, as bizarrely as this one, as dangerously as this one, it has to be destroyed. And I, I've been watching the online discussions of this. Of course, a lot of the armchair quarterbacks. That's why I'm giving some of my pedigree. I'll point out. Like I said, I grew up in Banff, for those who know me. I worked 20 years as a surveyor in isolated areas, and now I live on an acreage where, yes, every few weeks I have cougars go through my yard, bears, lots of other critters. I love that, and we have gotten along fine. I've never shot so much as a squirrel in my yard, and hopefully it stays that way. But when we get a circumstance like this, an outlier with a cougar like this, this is very frightening. That area, and again, if anybody lives southwest of Calgary watching this, watch out. People put their kids out in the mornings to get the school bus at 7 o'clock. This cougar is still running on the loose. It's come to this house and tried to get in their door twice. Other people saying, well, we'll just tranquilize it. It's not that easy, I'm afraid. Cougars aren't like bears, okay? They can't be easily trapped in a large live trap and then relocated somewhere else safely, unfortunately. Uh, tranquilizing isn't that easy either. They're smart. They can hide out quite uh, well and just trying to get there and get a dart into it. Again, people, and what are you going to do with it? You can't rehabilitate it. I mean, again, it's behaving so unusually like that and so aggressively and so dangerously. It has to be put down. They aren't endangered, but a lot of people are endangered. So people saying it was just a cat. That's not the point about the cat this thing killed. It's the fact that it came out during broad daylight and did it. It did it in somebody's backyard and then tried to get in the door to her daughter. So for fools saying we should just leave it be, it's nature. I, look, I, I, you know, some people are urban dwelling. They don't necessarily understand. Uh, in these cases, it has to happen. Out where I live, it's ranch country. There are a lot of cougars. There are a lot of bears. There's a lot of interactions. I know uh, they don't publicize it a lot, but I guess what? Actually, a number of cougars get shot every year out my way. It's usually because of adverse interaction with livestock producers. But they are not endangered. Uh, it's a last resort. Those of us who choose to live out there do it because we love the wildlife, because we want to be around them. I mean, there's smart things you should be doing. Don't leave your food or garbage out. You know, don't attract animals around. Some other people saying somebody was clearly feeding that cougar. No, no, I don't believe they were. Uh, you know, they're not like foxes or bears where they, they can become habituated quite so much. Again, they're so shy with people, there wouldn't be the opportunity for somebody to start feeding it. Though, who knows? You know, you leave enough meat outside and you can attract anything. I don't think that was the case happening here. Cougars, again, tend to stay away. It would grab it in the night and take off. Uh, this is just not...
typical behavior. So the news is going to come out on this story as it keeps unfolding. I, I'll spare you the name of the lady. She is a neighbor of mine, just a few miles away. But either that cougar is going to be found and destroyed, as I'm afraid it has to be, or even worse, that cougar is going to attack somebody. Something is wrong with that particular animal. You got to think about it like people. Again, 99% of people won't harm anybody. They don't want to. Things happen. Sometimes something uh, switch flips in somebody's head or whatever else. They go off, they get violent, they get dangerous, and we have to do something about it. In the case of a cougar like this, as you can see in that picture with the blood on its paws, aggressive and trying to get into the house, there is no other option. So again, if you're watching in the Southwest, if you know people with acreages down there, though, this is ongoing right now. Uh, tell them to watch out. Keep the pets closer than usual at home. And by all means, of course, keep your children nearby. The few attacks that cougars have ever done, which are very rare, almost never with men. Predominantly, it's been with women and children. They're opportunists. They're hunters. They will go for what they feel is smaller and more vulnerable. And as rare as those attacks may be, of course, the outcome is as tragic as you could possibly imagine. We couldn't imagine a child being killed and that's an area where there are a lot of families and children living. So keep the eyes open. Let's hope this gets resolved. And, uh, you know, we can have a rational discussion about living with wildlife, managing wildlife, and getting along with them, but understanding that sometimes there's just no other choice. Public safety has to come first.